So a lot of people in forums have been asking how to get the macros on your Alienware Tactics keyboard to work on Windows 8. Well now what you would do is download this file, the link's in the description, and when you download the file it's going to show up in your downloads right here as the Logitech and then you're going to double click on it and click yes and continue and it's going to go make a new folder inside your hard drive the Dell folder and just let this uh, progress run and that's just all it's doing is unzipping everything and press OK now you're going to go to here your hard drive and click on Dell drivers YV7 and click on the folder on, under that go to CD and click on setup you're going to click on the one that says application with 140 KB and you're going to run it and press yes and then just follow the steps and accept it and keyboard click both of those and then it's going to pull up the software installation and this is probably going to take a few seconds to do and after it's done you're just going to hit finish or ok Alright, now you just hit it's done. Press done. It's gonna pull up your Alienware Tactics Keyboard CI. And to find this, you're gonna go press down and it should I think it downloads the command center at the same time, which I've already had it though. But command center is your color choices and the CI is your macros. Now pull up this little screen and this changes all your macros you technically have 18 sets I already have my like two is preset to uh, Photoshop for my brush quick selection brush size save and color and all that then this is set for it hadn't been set yet it's I'm setting it up to my Google Chrome uh, currently but what this does all this is it activates the keys over here of your macros and so these work now with Windows 8 before they did not work these work and so does the record button and so that's all you do and uh, if you check on my page on my videos I'll probably link it in the description it will also tell you how you can make the cheat keyboard change colors to the beat of your music like every time the bass kicks the keyboard will change colors but, yeah, that's all you have to do. I hope this video helped, and see ya.